Hi guys. Come here. You cute girls. I have Cinder with me in this video because she has been snooping into puppy stuff and she kidnapped some of her future brother's toys. <laughs> well, I went to go get Taco Bell. So, <laughs> Cinder's gonna sit with me during this video. So if she happens to get in the frame or something, I do apologize. I feel like she knows something is up because Cinder has always been more attached to Brandon and his brother um, because his brother, thank you for Depa, thank you, is the one that would watch her when Brandon and I would go to um, concerts and stuff. So she naturally grew attached to him because he was with her at a very young age. So Brandon is the dominant one, I guess, to her. Because, um, you know, as people with dogs, it's it's kind of like a pack thing, and there's going to be the dominant person, and there's going to be the dominant dog. And so Brandon is more so dominant than I am. Since I saw the puppy, she will come in my office. There's a dog bed in here for her. Um, and she sleeps in the dog bed. She sleeps with me in the bed at night. And she'll cuddle me on the couch. And she's never usually done that. But I also never really opened it up to her to be an option because of my allergies. So I tend to not be cuddly um, with her because of my allergies. I just feel like she knows something is up and it worries me because, you know, my priority is Cinder is my original baby. And I really don't want her, thank you, to feel replaced. I don't want her to feel... Um, neglected or abandoned um, and I've never had two dogs at once so it's different for me um, and I'm very very nervous but Cinder is such a good dog and I really hope um, that she will be able to help um, in making her future brother as good as she is I really think I believe that dogs can do that and I think that he will be such a good boy because he's going to have her influence and guiding. <laughs> In life, she sees the floof. That's all I've been thinking about and I've like cried a lot because I'm just like, if, this, if she really doesn't like this dog, what are we supposed to do? But Cinder loves to play with other dogs and she's never just shown aggression towards a dog without just, just reason. Um, Brandon's brother has a dog and sometimes they get a little, a little rough because Cinder will want to play and the other dog doesn't want to play. And so they get a little nah, but nobody's ever drawn blood or anything, so it, I'm sure it's, it's all good. I know, there's some stuff in here for you too. So we went to a few different places in the vlog. If you guys missed the vlog, I'll link it up above for when we pick out the puppy. The first thing we're going to go through is... So, first thing, I got this little eat, eat or this little elephant. This is not for the puppy though. This is for my mom's chihuahua that I, it was mine until I moved out. And so, this little elephant is for her. So, but I did get three toys. I got this little chip, which is a, I don't want to like do too much because I don't want to hurt her feelings. It is a crinkly chip, and this was on sale for a dollar, I think. It was on clearance, and it's got some fluff, but, you know, it's a puppy. It's going to want it, and then whenever it's destroyed, you know, it's not that big of a loss. I got this, which is like a blue fish, and it's very, very tough. It's a very nice rubber, and um, I liked this one because I figured, you know, it was blue, and it's really cute, and if the puppy doesn't like it, Cinder definitely will, and it's durable enough that she can have it. Oh, you got stinky farts! Stinky farts! Why are you farting so much? No! So I got this octopus. Oh my god, it stinks. This octopus toy. This is on sale for like $3. And again, it is fluffy, but 
Um, I liked that it was purple and I figured, you know, the puppy should have it. This is stuff Cinder doesn't have anymore because she just absolutely destroys it. Then from um, PetSmart, uh, which was the place we went to in the vlog, I got a lot of really, really good things. So the first thing we have here is an indestructible, supposedly Kong toy and it is an armadillo and it's got like this clear plastic on it that makes it like dura tough and she's giving it kisses everywhere she really likes this one and so i don't know it was on sale for five dollars i don't know how much it was originally but it seems really durable so again if this is something the puppy doesn't like i wouldn't feel bad giving it to cinder so you give it an all the toys loving so that way he knows these are not for Cinder, because Cinder will eat these. But these are only a dollar. They're just the basic um, little like rubber bones. This uh, puppy toy ring, and it is textured for teething. And just like a puppy basic, it was like $3 Kong ring. And I thought it was funny that it has black spots on it. <laughs> and it was on clearance for $2.50. I also got him a set of um, puppy Nyla bones. So it's like a little kit, so you give them like an, an order. So you want to start with this one and then you graduate to this one. And then the last thing I got were these three toys. And these were all on sale for $2.50. They are called uh, stuffers and you can put treats in them. You can also put them in the freezer so that way it adds a little more texture to them um, for the puppies to chew on and it's gentle on the teeth it's really really bouncy so they're good for play and they're easy to clean i got this one for the puppy this little like diamond one it was one of the smallest ones that they had but it wasn't like the smallest one and then i got these two and i'm not sure who's gonna get this one but this one is definitely for cinder um because another thing i want to do is if the puppy does something good the puppy's obviously going to get a treat or a toy and so we want Cinder to also get treats or rewards. Um, so, you know, like if the puppy's learning how to sit and Cinder sits, then Cinder's going to get a toy. She just tried to give me her paw. Then Cinder will also get a reward because, again, we don't want her to feel like she's replaced. So I did buy some of these for Cinder as well because they were so cheap. So I guess I will show you guys some of the accessories that I got. I got these from Hallmark and they were 50% off but they're little dog bandanas and this one says heartbreaker and it's super super cute um, so I got this one for him I think it's really really adorable and then I also got him this one which kind of goes with his name which I'm going to wait to say still I really wanted to tell you guys at the end of the puppy vlog but I just figured it'd be really fun to wait until we have him and this kind of goes with it so I don't know if you guys will get the hint um, but if, if you're actually subscribed and know some of the videos I make this is a little hint and then I also got him um, I knew I didn't really want to buy him another collar because I have all of Cinder's old collars from when she was little but I felt like that was kind of mean I didn't really like any of the collars that we saw in the pet stores anyway I saw that they had this zero collar and it's got zero from number four Christmas all over it. They had it in a size small. So I was like, all right, this will be his puppy collar. And it's a little bit cheaper than the ones I would have bought anyway for just like a plain color. So I thought this one was super cute. And um, it's black and white too. So I thought that it'd be really adorable. So he's got a little zero collar to have. So I'm super excited about that. I will show you guys what I grabbed from Target. This was in the puppy vlog. Um, I got him this harness for when he's fully grown. I know I probably could have waited on this, but it was such a super nice like color. I just love highlighter yellow. I really wanted this one for him when he's bigger and just so that way I don't like forget. But it's got two buckles on the back. So yeah, this, this is going to be for big boy. And then for now, I got him this one, which is a miniature version of Cinder's harness. So if we go for walks together, it'll be super cute that they'll have the same harness. Um, so this is for him when he's little. It's a medium. And I just wanted to get him one with the fabric in the front again because when we got Cinder, I got a lot of just the strappy ones. And I felt like they looked really uncomfortable and I didn't really feel like they were very secure. 
So I wanted to kind of take the extra mile with this puppy and learn from my mistakes and get like a fabric based one. So I uh, definitely need to grab a leash and I figured I'd get this blue one. Um, they really only had blue and black I think and they didn't have a highlighter yellow one otherwise I would have got that. But I actually think that these kind of look cool together. And now all we have left is the stuff from Chewy. So the first thing is this little pacifier toy, which is what Cinder got a hold of, because you can see the tag is missing. Um, but these were such a good deal. Oh, by the way, that was only $3. These were such a good deal on Chewy. They are Orca tires, and they're supposed to be tough play, and that you could put treats on the inside. I'm not sure about the treat situation, but they only had one size and they were blue. And I, I know I like to buy a lot of blue stuff because it's one of the only colors dogs can see. They, um, not that I don't think that they really care, but it just makes me feel a little bit better. So I got these. I didn't really know what size they were gonna be, so I initially got one for the puppy and one for Cinder, but these are pretty big. I don't know how durable they'll be for Cinder, but these will probably be Cinder's toys and some of her rewards. Um, or we can give one to the puppy and one to Cinder and, you know, if they get mixed around or whatever, it doesn't really matter. We're gonna have so many toys in the house now. Then I got this little teensy tiny crunch core bone. It's made out of rubber and it makes like a weird noise. It's super, super small and um, I think that he will really like this and it will kind of help him get adjusted to the Nyla bones a little bit, I think. I also got him some mini Nyla bones. These are very similar, if not the same, to the ones in the puppy kit. Um, I love getting my Nyla bones from Chewy. Highly recommend if you guys are placing a Chewy order um, to get Nyla bones through Chewy. These are only $1.25. Um, I should have got more of them, but they were um, his perfect size for being a puppy, and so I just got him two of them, and he has that little kit, so I think that'll last until he's too big to handle these little ones anyway. But she has this one brand of treats that she always gets, so I got her two three-pound boxes, and we'll break them up to give to her with the puppy. But Cinder did grow up on these when she was potty training. These are Zook's Crunchy Naturals with peanut butter and apples. And the protein content is only 10%. It's very common that the protein uh, percentage be above like 13% in treats and food. So anything that I find that's underneath 13%, I take as a win. So this should probably last us a while because it is a pretty big bag. Then I also got him. These were some of Cinder's favorite treats when she was a puppy. The Old Mother Hubbard mini biscuits. So these are the teensy tiny ones and um, they are the peanut flavor. And the crude protein is 12%, which again, isn't too terrible. It's below the 13%, but um, these are really good for um, training like tricks and stuff. And it's a six pound box, so hopefully it should last us like three months, I hope. It is a miniature food bowl to what Cinder has. It's literally the same company, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's the same setup to what Cinder has, so. And I already made room for this in the kitchen. It's super nice. I think it's just the right size for the puppy. And the reason why I even bought this, because, you know, eventually he's going to be too big for this and it's kind of not going to be necessary, was because it was a really good deal. Originally, I think $33 on Chewy or $24 or something. And it was on sale, part of their deal, the deal of the day, for $16.44. And I thought that was a really good price, especially since I was going to get stainless steel bowls anyway. And for the size I needed, those were around like $5. So it was only $6 more to get the stainless steel bowls inside this plastic. And I want him to learn from a young age, you know, to stand and eat. Yeah, we did also get a puppy play pen. Um, I don't remember the exact measurements, but I think it's 16 square feet in overall size. And we did buy a baby gate. So we have a baby gate um, in between the kitchen and the dining room. And then we're going to put a baby gate for the upstairs. We want the puppy to have a limited space for once he's inside. So the puppy play pen is intended for the first week that he's here. He'll probably be limited to the play pen. Thank you for your paw. You good girls. Thank you. And it's almost your birthday. I gotta buy her more stuff for her birthday. I really want to have a nice birthday so she knows that she's loved. We want to have a limited space just because I want to be extra cautious. And again, I haven't had two dogs at once, so I don't know. 
we're gonna introduce them outside. We have a pasture um, on our property, so we're gonna start from like each side of the fence line and kind of bring it forward and then see how that goes. And then we're gonna have the puppy pen set up on the porch. So um, we'll have them on the porch for like an hour and see how that goes with him and his playpen. And then um, we'll bring it inside and he will be limited in the living room, probably in his puppy pen for a week. And then after that, um, once he's allowed out of the puppy playpen, unless it goes super, super well, then, then we won't obviously be this strict. He will only be allowed in the dining room and the living room. Those will be the only places that he has access to when he's loose. Um, that way it doesn't feel like he's totally invading all of Cinder's territory and it'll kind of ease them into it because, you know, when we go upstairs or something, Cinder will obviously still be allowed upstairs, so... We'll deal with that, and then, yeah, that's the game plan. That's why we got the puppy gates and the puppy pen, just to be extra safe. But if she just loves him instantly, then I guess it wasn't really necessary. But also with training, um, I think it will also help to limit his space. It's been... If you guys have any suggestions for introducing them or anything, uh, please leave it in the comments down below. I'm always open to advice. And I hope that this video helps you guys if you're thinking about getting a um, puppy as to what to buy. Lots of um, treats or lots of toys and lots of miniature treats. I always recommend the mini treats and not necessarily treats that are for the weight class that your dog is. I love you guys and I'll see you again very very soon. Peace out. Is it playtime now? It's 1 a.m. and it's playtime? Oh, go get it. Oh, you threw it. Oh, it just flung back. I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Peace out, Girl Scouts.